Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome on board the Disney Magic for a full video tour in 4K, showing all of the latest updates, cabins, public areas, restaurants, everything. So join us on this tour. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. First up, let's start on the outside of the ship, at the very back where we have the Paolo Specialty Restaurant. Located on deck 10 at the aft, Paolo is an Italian restaurant and it's the only upcharge restaurant on board. A set four-course meal costs $45 plus tax at the time of filming. The food here is really wonderful and you get a fantastic service too. There's two meal services here, an amazing brunch or dinner. Make sure you check out our vlog for our dinner here in Paolo. It was incredible. They even have some bottles of wine worth $3,000 per bottle. Hick. Now at the back of the ship you have more outdoor seating and going down one deck we have Cabanas which is the onboard buffet. This area outside is so lovely especially when the sun's shining and you get some beautiful views across the aft of the ship. Now let's head in to Cabanas, the inside part. Now the food is very famous on Disney and it really did not disappoint in Cabanas. There's a huge selection of food for breakfast and lunch. During dinner, it sometimes also opens as an extra restaurant. But during the day, you'll find everything you need, including inclusive sodas and drinks and water, tea and coffee and things like that. From amazing desserts and seafood platters to chicken tenders and mac and cheese. You're not going to go hungry. We love all of the theming, including this amazing carpet. Now let's head forward outside to Daisy Delights. Here you'll find snacks during breakfast, lunch and dinner. Here you can also build a bowl where you can make your own ramen style dish. You'll also find another soda dispensary as well as hot chocolate, tea and coffee. It's all complimentary. Now the first of the three main pool areas is the Aqualab. This is designed for children and it includes an amazing slide. I have to admit, I have been down this as a fully grown man before. It's so much fun. There is so much to do for the kids, including a small round pool, as well as lots of splash zones and play areas. They're gonna have so much fun here. The theming really is fantastic. You just don't find this on any other cruise ship. Word of warning, if you do try the twist and spout slide and you're six foot two like me, you will get stuck on those corners and you will have to climb down yourself. It's quite funny. Now let's move forward to the next pool area. This is the main family pool area and it includes a lovely big pool and two jacuzzis as well as a few places to eat including Pinocchio's pizza and a bar.
There's loads of places to chill out and relax with your family, as well as the Funnel Vision screen, which shows Disney movies and different content throughout the day. It's great here, and during a night, it turns into an outdoor cinema with movies under the stars, so you can chill out here and watch your favourite Disney movie. You'll also find more dining options here, including Duck In Diner, which serves things like burgers, fries, as well as kebabs, which is a special little treat. And the Frozone, where you can grab your Dole Whip and extra drinks, as well as a complimentary soft serve ice cream called Ice Cream. I love it. It's very tasty. You must try this. Now the big water slide, the aqua dunk, it is amazing. It's really fantastic, you must try it. I did it about 15 times and I absolutely loved it. Yes, it's a bit terrifying, but definitely worth it. Just love those little duck prints going up to the slide. Just look at the theming, it's so fantastic. You always know you're on a Disney ship. Now, did you know one of these funnels is actually fake and includes two of the kids' clubs in there, including Vibe, which is the teens' club? It's a really cool place to hang out for those kids. You'll find things like a cool coffee machine, a bar serving non-alcoholic drinks, as well as lots of games and things to do. The next kids' club is Edge for those tweens, and it looks so amazing in here. Again, so much to do for the kids, including Wii's, Xboxes, Playstations, these cool virtual portals, lots of things to do for every kid of every age. Now let's move even further aft to our favourite area on the ship. Yes, you're going to be entering the adults only area for adults 18 years and older. First up, we have the Cove Cafe. The Cove Cafe is one of our favourite spots to chill out and grab an amazing coffee. It's jungle themed, really cool and really quiet, we love it and you can grab a complimentary snack as well during the day. Moving on from that, we head to the quiet cove pool area, which is the adult-only pool area. Again, there's two hot tubs as well as a large pool. There's so much space to chill out and relax in a kid-free zone. It really is luxurious. We love little touches like the soft sun lounges. You don't usually find this on other cruise ships apart from suite only areas. At the top left there, you can see the concierge lounge and outdoor area for concierge passengers. You'll also find the Signals Bar for your favourite cocktail or drink whilst around this area. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Now, we've just recently changed our whole website over to Squarespace because they made it so quick, easy, and affordable. What used to take us days now just takes minutes on Squarespace. We really don't have that much time as we're always traveling. There's no complex coding and so many features such as analytics, beautiful photo galleries, a fully integrated commenting system, as well as connected social media accounts so that we can quickly push website content over to our social channels. And because we're working with Squarespace, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David, or use the coupon code Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website 
or to Main. And just behind the adults only area you have the Senses Spa. This is a full spa offering massages, treatments, it even has a barber shop and a hairdresser's and lovely beautiful treatment rooms for couples. It even comes with a hot tub on the balcony. You can hire this out as couples whenever you want. And just in front of the Census Spa you have the fully equipped gym. It has absolutely everything you need if you are one of those people who chooses to work out on holiday. And just in front of the Census Spa we have a recent addition, the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Yes, for your little boys and girls, they can come in here and get made into their favourite Disney princess or pirate for an extra charge. Now it is quite expensive but we saw lots of kids coming out of here looking very, very happy indeed. The adults only area is quite expansive and goes all the way to the front of the ship. Anyway let's head up one deck to the very front, you'll find a sports court, more seating areas and some wonderful views across the front of the ship. Down below you can see the crew pool as well as a little Mickey emblem at the front, it's very cool. During a night the ship looks really spectacular and comes to life full of colour. There's some amazing shores including a frozen shores and yes it actually snows outside on a cruise ship wherever you are in the world, even the Caribbean. Let's head inside to take a look inside the ship. First up we're going to have a look quickly at our deluxe balcony veranda cabin. Now we've got a more in-depth review of this on our vlog so make sure you head back and take a look at it. One thing that we really loved are the split bathrooms. Yes there's two different bathrooms, one with a toilet and a sink and another one with a shower and bath. We also took a quick peek in an inside cabin. One thing we love about Disney are the self-service laundry rooms. These come with irons as well as washers and dryers for a small extra charge. You can get all of your detergent and everything. Now the main heart of the ship is the main atrium area and it's stunning. The details here are insane. It's not in your face, it's art deco and beautiful. Reminiscent of those old traditional cruise lines. So let's start off at the top on deck number five. Here you'll find all of the kids clubs and boy are they fantastic. They are so well themed. There's just about everything a kid would ever want to do on a cruise ship. And one thing that we really loved is that behind the kids clubs there's a passageway that only the kids can use. We really haven't seen anything like this on a cruise ship before. We've seen some impressive kids clubs but Disney you win. The kids clubs are amazing including themed rooms all around Marvel and as well as Toy Story, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. It's really fantastic and so well themed. We've spoken to so many parents who really couldn't get their kids to leave because they loved it so much. For an extra charge there's also the It's a Small World Nursery for those younger kids for babysitting if you want a night off. 
Moving towards the back of the ship, we have something really unique to Disney. It's the Buena Vista Theatre. Now, this is a cinema on board, and it's really fantastic. As well as showing the latest movies, you'll see lots of character greets here. Hi there, Ariel. So moving down one deck to deck number four, at the back of the ship we have the Animator's Palette restaurant. Now this is a magical restaurant. It starts off as black and white and becomes more and more colourful during your meal. With some fantastic animations on the wall, we don't want to show you too much because we don't want to ruin it, but it's such a fantastic experience, like no other we've experienced before. And moving forward, we have some more shops, including jewellery, as well as shutters, which is the photo area. So you can have a look at all of those photos you've taken on board. A quick tip on deck four midship, there's a secret little passageway which goes down to deck number three. It's a really good place to take a shortcut. Anyway, heading even more forward towards the middle of the ship. We're gonna take you into the D lounge, which is a family lounge where you'll see trivia, game shows, lots of entertainment, as well as character meets. Around the atrium, you'll see the vacation planning desk. Here you can book your future cruises with different discounts. One thing that we love about the Disney Magic is she has a full walk around promenade deck. It's really fantastic. We love to see outdoor space. There's different games and loads of lovely little seating areas. It's great for exercise if you fancy burning off some of those calories from all that food you've been eating. Anyway, let's head even further forward. Walking towards the front of the ship, you have a large shopping area. There's two large different shops here, selling all types of Disney Cruise merchandise, but be quick because people were very, very keen and buying everything before anybody else could do. And at the very front of the ship, you have the amazing Walt Disney Theatre. Here you'll find West End slash Broadway shows. We saw Tangled, which is the show about Rapunzel, as well as Disney Dreams, which is an amazing show filled with all of your favourite princesses and characters. It really is a must see. And it even snores during the performance. It's unreal. Let's head down to deck number three. Now, this is the last main deck area. And at the back of the ship, you might have guessed it, you'll find Rapunzel's Royal Table. Now, this is a recently rethemed area. It used to be called Cariocas, but now it's Rapunzel's Royal Table. And the theming is so much better. This restaurant is truly beautiful. All of the attention to detail is just really wonderful. During your dinner, you'll also experience a dinner show from Rapunzel and her friends celebrating her birthday. It's a really great interactive show and so much better than the old restaurant. Moving forward out of Rapunzel's Royal Table, we have the Promenade Lounge. This is one of our favourite areas to chill out. You'll find live music as well as trivia and game shows and lots of things to drink as well.
moving forward you'll see that secret stairway that we were just talking about it's a great shortcut On deck three in the main atrium, you'll find the guest services desk if you have any problems. As well as the shore excursions desk where you can book all of your shore excursions. Then moving towards the middle of the ship and the atrium, we have the third and final restaurant, which is Lumiere's. Now this is a French themed restaurant, obviously after Beauty and the Beast, and it's really gorgeous. Again, the attention to detail as well as the artwork is truly stunning. Now moving towards the front of the ship, we have something that a lot of people don't know about. Disney ships cater to adults really well, especially at the front of the ship on this deck. You'll find three different venues that are adult only during the evening. It's a really fantastic area called After Hours. First up you have the Keys Piano Bar serving some amazing cocktails. The ambience and theming in here is so beautiful, we enjoyed lots of drinks in here. Just chilling out listening to the live piano, it really is a wonderful space. Just look at those details. These are the elevators with little Mickey hands. We just love them. Moving across to the other side of the after hours, we have another small shop. Now, usually this sells alcohol, but because we were on a British seacation cruise, it was actually outfitted as a princess and prince shop where you can get all of the costumes for your little ones. And just next door is O'Gill's Pub. Now this is an Irish themed pub and it does feel very authentic. It's a lovely space to enjoy a pint of Guinness if you're into that sort of thing. There's lots of spaces to sit, to chill out, to play games. Again, you'll find lots of trivia as well as sports shown in here. And finally, we have the third venue, which is called Fathoms. Now this is a dance floor slash nightclub. Again, there's lots of trivia, live DJs, dancing, and partying if you wanna do that sort of thing. It's a lovely space. Well, that's it for our tour of the Disney Magic. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please do hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. It really helps us bring you more free content. And don't forget to visit Squarespace. A big thank you to all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. You really help us to create more content and we give you lots in return, including an exclusive vlog series. That's it till next time. Happy cruising.